How did you meet Chris C? I don't know if I've seen Seafried? Seafried? Seafried, yeah. What, what did you mean? Uh, Chris and I got together. We were trying to write some songs for another artist. And uh, we just had an immediate connection right away. And he uh, really became my musical mentor and uh, encouraged me to pursue my dreams of being an artist. And I would say without meeting him, I don't think I would have ever have had the encouragement or uh, the uh, the learning to to finally make my own record. Uh, so he's a, a very important part of my personal story of just developing as an artist and was just always so encouraging to me to continue. What did he tell you on, on one specific point when you were really, well maybe low on your, uh, uh, well, on your self-esteem maybe of getting um, somewhere? You know, he just really was always advocating to to be true to myself and to let my true self come out in the in the music. And he's uh, an incredibly talented producer and songwriter. And uh, I just, uh, over a few years, had just developed such a great friendship and rapport with him working that uh, when he worked on this record, it was just natural. And he knew who I was as a, as a person. So he already was able to sort of edit out certain ideas or influences uh, when he came to, to working on the record. But I will really say that his, his love and his spirit and his encouragement was maybe the most important thing. He was just always encouraging me to, to pursue it and to have the courage to take a chance on being an artist and making a record. But when you had uh, when you had the idea for well for starting a band for starting Fish and Stent, uh, Tantrums, you uh, you called James first. Well, Why? James, uh, because I had the first thing that ever happened was I wrote "Breaking the Chains of Love" was the first song ever written for Fits and the Tantrums, and right there we knew uh, or I knew that I wanted to have a band with saxophones, no guitars, and another amazing female vocalist, and. Uh, I went to university with with James and knew him and knew his reputation as one of the best saxophone players around. I called him. He brought all of his horns over, four of them, and he's a one-man horn section. And he started listening to the music and he started creating these uh, horn arrangements and horn parts, just one piece at a time. And you know, it's interesting because. He is so intelligent and, and mm -hmm. so talented that he can hear a chord structure uh, ahead of so many people. So sometimes he would play a very strange note and I would be like, that sounds weird. He'd be like, hold on one second, let me put the other two pieces in there. And it was only once he added the other pieces that all of a sudden it just came together and it was these brilliant horn parts. Uh, and uh, he is actually the person I said, well, I want to have a, a female vocalist, especially these songs are about love and heartbreak, and it's important to have that dynamic. And he's the one that, that recommended me to Noel. They had just done a tour together. So, you know, it was that initial creativity with him and then him turning me on to Noel that sort of just kicked the whole, uh, kick, uh, kick started the whole band. What was the first song that you did at your first rehearsal? Do you still recall? The first song we did, oh. maybe breaking. I think it was breaking. It it would have been breaking, then winds of change, and because at the time we only really had the EP done, so it was like five songs, and then we were kind of developing other things, and uh, we just had a short set that we played at the hotel cafe, which is really popular little kind of singer songwriter uh, live venue in Los Angeles. So that's where we had the first show, and initially when we did the rehearsal, it was just kind of like everything was. I mean, it, it sounded like pretty, finished yeah. from the first time we played the song. It was like, really solid it sounds like the all record. Of us. Yeah, so it, it, it worked strange, out. Strange, right? On yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's strange. I think what it is is really it's a credit to, you know, each person in the band is incredibly talented and has spent many years being the best at what they do. So I think that's why when we all came into the room, you know, everyone had listened to the music, had learned their parts, and it just came in and it was instantaneously the songs I mean I was so blown away in that moment because I was like we could go play a show right now and yeah. that's you know because of everyone's hard work as an individual trying to be the best musician they could be